Hey everybody. All right, so today we're gonna do a bloom effect. It's pretty common in um, video games and uh, animated films. Um, so basically, uh, it's just like a light bleed. So if there's something bright in the in the background, it's gonna bleed into um, the edges of the darker objects. So it's gonna be up on the repository. It's Posit Labs Spark Dash Bloom. And I'm just going to get rid of those because we're not going to use them. This is the basic 2D image processing setup that I do in, in all of the 2D image processing demos. Um, just going to add a canvas rectangle, make it fill, add a material. Oh, it's already flat. That's neat. Um, we're going to pipe the texture into patch editor. Um, if you don't know, the, the command for opening patch editor is a control alt P. So pretty handy if you just start a new project and you want to get there quickly. Um, so we're going to grab the camera texture and do that. Um, another pretty handy shortcut is a control left or command left. You can change your orientation of the device. Um, I mostly just do this because it's like more surface area to test with in landscape. All right, um, so this is kind of a working session. Um, I think it's better for you guys to like understand the process in making these kind of effects rather than like me just dumping a patch and being like, you can use this. Um, so the first step, we want to isolate the highlights. Um, so actually we're going to do, we're going to do a black and white image that needs a, so we need a luminance value. You can right click and change it to 0.3D. Um, I gotta look at the luminance values because I don't really know them offhand. Um, so GLSL is a um, shader language, um, which is basically what the the um, visual shaders are doing in Spark. So it's a really good reference. Why don't I just copy that? I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that. Um, this this kind of script is a really good reference for if you're trying to reproduce an effect or um, Yeah Just reproducing effects uh, You can look at how it's kind of structured in here and um, Translate it pretty easily into the patch editor So I went over this in the um, uh, The threshold demo just like what these values are actually doing, um, but I'll do it again. Um, so our eyes are, these values correspond to red, blue, and green, or um, red, green, blue, that's it. So our eyes are not great at seeing red, but they're okay, so it, it puts a weight of 0.21. Um, they're pretty good at seeing green. Uh, I don't know why, plants and stuff maybe, I'm not totally sure, so it's, it's heavily weighted on green. And then our eyes are really bad at seeing blue, so it puts hardly any weight on blue. Um, and the the goal of this is just to give us like a a decent looking black and white image. Um, so I'm just going to rename this luminance. Um, and then to get the black and white image, you do a dot product of luminance and the color. Oh, actually, RGB. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Um, so dot product, I don't know why this is actually like piping through. I don't know what that's doing. Um, but dot product should return a, a single value. 
I hope I'm doing this right. Well, and then um, the handy thing about Swizzle is you can just put a one at the end. If you're processing a bunch of RGB stuff, you can do that. And then you don't have to do like a pack later. If you know that the alpha is going to be one, you can just tell it that. So now we've got our black and white image. Um, so you can see uh, highlights are there. Um, but we probably want to emphasize them a little bit more. Um, so we, we want to get rid of all these like subtle grays. So um, I'm going to do a smooth step. A lot of this stuff is also in the threshold video. Um, so let's say, let's start at point seven. So we get the top 30% of values. Yeah, so that's like super contrasty. Um, so I'll play with this a little bit. I kind of, my face isn't super contrasty, so maybe I'll try to get a little bit more. Eh, well, let's just go with 0.5 and, and see how that works. So now, now we've got our highlights isolated, um, but we, we don't want to just put the highlights back into the image. Um, we can try that. I'll show you what it looks like. So do an add. Um, Yeah, so now you can see it's like way blown out. Um, I'm kind of getting a light bleed effect, but I, I think that's more because of the webcam lens and not um, me doing it on purpose. So we're gonna take this highlight and um, we can do like an image transform or texture transform just to scale it up. Um, or we could do a blur to kind of make it go beyond its natural um, edges. Usually, I think this kind of effect is done in like 3D space. Um, so it's a little different in 2D. I'm just trying to approximate it um, in 2D. So let's try a transform. Just simply scaling it up. Um, oops, I didn't realize my window was so far down. Okay, so transform. No, oh, what do I need? 2D transform pack. So I'll just scale it up uh, by 10%. See how that looks. Okay, so it's scaling from the top left, which means um, we can change a pivot. So a lot of the stuff in, in shader languages are are just a range from zero to one. Um, so 0.5 is the middle. So we're gonna go 0.5 from left and 0.5 from from the top. So let's go back and add that in to the original again. So that looks a little weird. Um, it's kind of a ghosting effect. I mean, this could be cool. You do kind of get the bloom, which is nice, but I think there's still too much um, other values. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll just bump up the edge on a smooth step, try like 0.7.
He has some weird stuff going on. Um, maybe take the scale down. 1.05, so that'd be 5%. I mean, it's kind of getting there. Um, I think maybe the texture transform, this could work um, with some like noodling, or maybe you're just trying to make a, a weird effect. You could like duplicate these and do a whole bunch of them and then like add them together or average them together rather. Um, so let's try a Gaussian blur. containing folder. Um, so that would be in Spark Convolution. Um, so this is up in, in my repository too. It's Convolution Patch, which you can do blurs and sharpens with. So I'm going to move these out of here just for now. So let's see just what it looks like. So that's like, I think that's better looking. So maybe you could also do like a combination of these two approaches. Um, might help it out. Um, so I'm gonna blur, let's see. Maybe we can do like a double blur. So just like pipe it in. So do three and three. It didn't seem to change anything. Strange. Maybe try six. Did that change anything? Hmm. I don't know. It's not doing a, like a double blur. Strange. The idea of um, doing like multiple blur passes is that you get a cleaner looking blur, um, but you can also just increase the strength. So it's looking, looking a little boxy at five. And I think three is, three is the way to do it. So there's before, there's after. So it's gonna be kind of subtle. Um, and then we can see what that looks like now. It's pretty good. Um, so you might want to like tone down the extreme extremeness, the strength of the effect. Um, and you can do that just by multiplying the output here. Um, so if you multiply by anything less than one, it's going to be weaker. So let's do 0 0.6. So you can see it weakened it a little bit. So you can do like 0.3. Or you can even go over one, do like 1.5. Um, but that's, that's going to make the edges harder. So, I mean, it's a pretty simple effect. Um, let's do a, a before and after. So there's before, there's after. Um, so you can you noodle with this all day, um, like most things in Spark. I get most of my ideas just by like trying out things with patches and see what they do. Um, so I'm going to try add or what mix. I'll do a mix on these. So mix, 
um, basically just mixes two inputs based on the alpha. So if you if you do like a a point three, it's going to take point three from the first input and then point seven from the second output. So if you just want to mix like even, it's a point five. So let's see if that actually made a difference compared to just one. No, not really. Oh, because yeah, we're mixing. So 0.6, you can tell that made a difference. And then mix the two, you get best of both worlds. So let's try two and four. Yeah, that's looking better as far as blur goes. Blur is a pretty expensive effect, so like you don't want to do too much of it. Um, so it's it's really a balance between like quality and uh, and speed. Because um, I'm not sure if you can hear my computer fan, but it's been running pretty hard. Um, does the same thing on device; it just makes your phone hot and uh, drains your battery. So that's pretty much it. Just something to, to spice up your effects um, if you need it. Um, yeah, this will be on the repository shortly. And um, if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.